Hello everyone! Hmm. Have you ever wondered what the deepest place in the world is? If you wanted to know but have not yet googled it, here's the answer. It is the Mariana Trench, 11,000 meters deep, crescent-shaped pit. Here's some information for you to understand it better. The top of Mount Everest, the highest mountain in the world, would be more than one kilometer away from the surface of the water if the mountain were located at the bottom of the Mariana Trench. Also, many small countries could easily fit in its 400,000 square kilometer area. Only four people have ever reached the bottom of this place. Today, we will join them and explore the seabed. The pressure in this place is incredibly high, so you can only dive using a modern deep submergence vehicle. So, imagine we're underwater. Everything is going well. We see fish swimming around in shallow water. We dive in deeper and reach a depth of 1,000 meters. It gets darker and there are much fewer sea creatures. Along the way, we encounter mysterious creatures. These are viper fish. They have long teeth and an oblong body that reaches up to 35 centimeters in length. They do not enjoy sunlight. So, they try to stay deep underwater and go up only at night. Let's keep moving. At a depth of two kilometers, there's not a single gleam of light. The sun just can't get through the water, so the vehicle can't move without lights. The headlights switch on, but there's nothing special to see. Another 500 meters, and we can meet the deepest diving whale. After another couple of thousand meters, the equipment starts to fail, and you can hear strange sounds coming from the outside. It means the pressure is increasing. At this depth, it's three tons per square centimeter. Other than that, we are surrounded by complete silence. There's almost no life around us, but in some places, we can find giant amphipods. They look like huge shrimps. They can reach 35 centimeters in length. Depending on how deep they live, the deeper they live, the bigger they grow. At a depth of 7,500 meters, we can meet sailfish, the fastest fish in the world. It can reach speeds of up to 100 kilometers per hour. We submerge even deeper and reach a depth of 8,850 meters, which is the height of Mount Everest. There doesn't seem to be a single living thing here anymore. No wonder, because the water temperature here is a couple of degrees Celsius above zero and the sunlight is far, far away. But strangely enough, there's some life here. For example, this sea slug. It's a small translucent white creature with a wide head and a snake-like body with fins. Finally, we reach the bottom. What can we see here? Rocks covered with slime and shell fragments. It's also the only place where carbon dioxide exists in liquid form, emitted by volcanoes erupting boiling sulfur. It's a very unusual sight. However, Many amazing creatures live here and don't care about the ice-cold water, the high pressure, or the darkness. You can find sea cucumbers, mysterious glowing jellyfish, giant amoebas, and just some weird-looking and frightening fish. For example, here you can meet the sea devil, a creepy fish with sharp teeth and a glowing blob on its head. Female sea devils can reach a meter in length, so they look very frightening. Because of these creatures, there are many myths and legends about the Mariana Trench. Some scientists actually consider it could be home to spooky ancient monsters or other civilizations. Eternal darkness and the unknown make this place mysterious, and we may have to face something truly incredible. Anyway, who knows? But for now, you could subscribe to our channel and tell us in the comments if you know a legend about this mysterious place or a sea monster living here. This is True Story Channel. See you next week.